Jeff Kuchel and Kevin Fitzgerald, two of the voices of Z89 Radio here in beautiful Syracuse, New York, getting ready for Syracuse versus Pittsburgh tonight in the Carrier Dome. But before the game, we got a lot of tickets for two weeks from now, SU versus UConn. We're looking to give them out. Kevin, we got to get some real Syracuse football lovers here. Absolutely. I want, again, we had some good fun a couple weeks ago. Now it's time to find even better sports buffs. But we have plenty of tickets. Let's go, let's go give out our stock. Let's go give them away. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. All right, Kevin, we're looking to give away our first pair of tickets on the night, and I have a pretty good feeling about this gentleman. Sir, what's your name? I'm Brian Chapman. All right, you're looking to win some tickets here for SU UConn? I'm looking for tickets. Looking to win some tickets for some friends because I already got mine and you should too, damn it. <laughs> there you go. We got a true fan right here. All right, first question. We're going to quiz you a little bit on SU versus Pittsburgh here. Oh, shit. Now, SU oh, has God. played Pitt more or less than 60 times. More. Correct. Tonight will be the 68th meeting between the two teams. Good. You're one for one. You got two more questions to go. Pittsburgh is Syracuse's second longest rivalry. Which school is Syracuse's first? Colgate, Penn State, or West Virginia? Wait, do them again. All By games, excuse me. Colgate, Penn State, who? West Virginia. It's not West Virginia. I'm going to guess Penn State. Penn State is correct. You're two for two. They've played, Syracuse has played Penn State 70 times. So there you go. That's a, it's the first longest rivalry for SU. The question is, why aren't we playing them this year? <laughs> that would probably help out the record for Syracuse. <laughs> finally, finally, for the tickets. SU is currently 30, 34, and 3 against the Panthers. When was the last time Syracuse beat Pittsburgh? 2002, 2003, or 2004? 2004. Correct. He is good. SU, UConn. Yes. <laughs> three for three. Congratulations, sir. Here are your tickets. Yes. Kevin, we got a winner. We'll send it back to you. Uh, Jeff, we got two more contestants this time looking to give away some tickets for the UConn game. And, well, you guys have been tailgating all night. What's your name? Marcus. And how about you? Jerry. You guys, you getting excited for tonight's game? Absolutely. All right, Jeff. Again, the format. We got three questions for some Z89 tailgate trivia. First one I'll give you guys. They're going to work together. Coach Marone, what is his record coming out of bye week? Syracuse coming out of the bye week this weekend. Five times, five games will include that bowl win that they had a couple years ago. What's his record in five games coming out of the bye? Mark, what do you think? They think it's four and one. What do you think? Out of five. Out of five games. You got it. Two, two in. I'm gonna say two and three. How about what do you think? I'm gonna let. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with him this time. Final answer. What is it? Two and three. Uh, unfortunately, it was four and one. I heard you guys say it beforehand. Hey, Coach Brown is not that bad out of the bye. It's pretty good. But guys, you're getting ready for the game. Excited for tonight? Yep, yep, yep. Why do you think they do? Can they beat Pittsburgh today? Hopefully so. But we got a confident guy over here, yes? Yeah, yeah. This should be a win. All right, we'll see you later. Jeff, where are you at? Tough question, see if these guys can get it. What's your name, sir? Gavin. Paul. Gavin and Paul are going to try the lightning round. Well, now, what we're going to do, we're going to put 30 seconds on the clock. And your question is, there have been 20 SU players drafted in the first round of the NFL draft. I need you to name 10 of them in 30 seconds. All right? 30 seconds on the clock. All right, go for it. Tim Green, Donovan McNabb. Dwight Freeney. Um, Donovan Darius. Joe Morris. No. Art Monk. L Larry Zonka. Larry Zonka's five. Jim uh, Brown. Jim Brown. Floyd Little. Floyd Little. Ernie Davis. Ernie Davis. Eight. Um, no, he didn't get uh, uh, Chris Gedney. No. Um, hold on, hold on. Marvin Harrison. Right, nine. You have five seconds. You have nine. Uh, Quinn Ojanaka. No. Linda, Linda Murray. No. Time is up. No. No. We 
could have gone. We could have gone to Bucky Jones, Will Allen, Rob Moore. Will Allen won the first round. Yes, he did. I played against him. When he oh, was so the close. They got oh, nine of ten, but not good enough. We'll see if the next group can get it back to you, Kevin. All right, Jeff, look what we just found here. It's Scoop Jardine. He's making an appearance back on campus. He's going to be doing something at midnight next week. I don't know. We'll, we'll get to that later. But, uh, Scoop, we're, we're going we're to do some rapid-fire tailgate trivia with you. Uh, looking back at your career, you ready? Yeah. All right, first question we're going to ask. Favorite player to guard back in your days, who was it? Scotty Reynolds. All right, going a little Villanova style. How about favorite player to play against that you could just own on the court? Kimball Walker. <laughs> All right. Besides the Carrier Dome, favorite place to play other than right here on campus? Pitt. All right. Well, Pitt coming in the Dome tonight. All right. Favorite team, Scoop. Favorite Big East team you love to beat? Villanova. <laughs> All right. Villanova. There you go. We got Pittsburgh and Syracuse in the Dome later tonight. Who wins? Syracuse. That's right. Good answer. So we got we to gotta talk about the Midnight Madness coming up in, in a couple weeks. You have any MCing experience before this? I don't have none. I'm trying to get some from you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to give him some pointers after this. Is uh, Michael Jordan, is he making an appearance the next Friday? Uh, I have no clue. <laughs> if you, uh, once the leg heals up, you think you could take him one-on-one? -on -one? Mm, yeah, off the camera, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> off the record, he could. All right, uh, and, and Scoop, we got to talk about this upcoming, this upcoming team this year. What do you guys think about these guys uh, next year? I think they're going to su surprise a lot of people, I think. They, uh, they ready. There's a lot of guys that's, that's worked hard this summer that's going to do a great job. And, and Michael Carter-Williams is going to surprise a lot of people as well. How about that move to the ACC? You think it's going to be pretty cool for those guys to play against some of the teams uh, down the East Coast? For sure. I think it's going to be great as a fan, too, to watch Duke against Syracuse, North Carolina against Syracuse in the early part of the season. You know, that's that's like Final Four basketball in, in, in you know, December or January. So I think it's going to be fun. I think, you know, Syracuse is ready for whatever come our way. Scoop, you just survived the, the rapid fire segment. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Kevin, every time we do these trivia challenges, I always end up in the opposing team's tailgate. Sir, how are you? I'm doing fine, thank and you. What's your name? My name's Dean from Grapefield, Pennsylvania. Oh, we got Dean from Pennsylvania. The Panthers, the Panthers fans are out and about. Well, we, uh, we do a little SU trivia here, and we could give you tickets to SU UConn, uh, so you just got to answer this simple question, okay? It's, it's probably not simple, is it? Right. Name every starter from the 1995 Syracuse football team in 30 seconds. Go. Uh, Johnny Bensko was the tight end, all right? Jack Zeke was the quarterback. And I th and Scott Lerner was the was the wide receiver. Other than that, I don't know. Yeah, that is totally off. Sorry, sir. You did not get the tickets. Enjoy the game tonight. Go Orange. Go Orange. Back to you, Kev. All right, Jeff, I'm trying to give away tickets for the UConn game. We got our first female contestants of the day. What What's going on, guys? What's your names? Lindsay Withers. I'm Chelsea Andrews. And these guys are big SU fans, so we're going to give them some trivia questions to win these. you got to answer three questions, and the tickets are all yours. We're going to do a joint effort. It's teamwork here. First question for you guys. What is the name of the turf, the stadium that Syracuse plays their football games in? The turf that they play. The name of the stadium. The, the name of the turf that the... the... The name of the stadium that Syracuse plays their games in. Dome, dude. There you go. She's got one. The Carrier Dome is the easy answer. All right. This one, the next one for you. Who is the starting quarterback for the Syracuse Orange? The starting quarterback for the Syracuse football team. Who is it? He wears number 12. Current QB. Where's number 12? Number 12. Ryan Nassib. There you go, Jeff. They're two for two. They're one away from winning the tickets. Will they do it? We're about to find out. Here's the, here's the final question for you guys. Syracuse is moving to another conference next year. Is it the ACC or the SEC? It's the ACC. There we go, Jeff. We got another winner. The tickets are all yours, guys. Thank Congratulations. You. You're looking forward to the game later? Yes, oh, yeah. looking forward to it. You think Syracuse will win? Pitt's got nothing on us. Pitt's got nothing on us. There you go. We're going to see somebody beat up Pittsburgh later in the day. Jeff, back to you.
All right, Kev, we're back with another lightning round, and uh, we're looking for another winner. Who are, who are you, sir? Let, let the people know. Corey. Corey. Corey is our man right here. He's looking to go to SU UConn in a few weeks. Now, Corey, here's the deal. We're going to put 45 seconds on the clock. You have to answer this question. Only two schools have played in more states than the SU football team. SU football has played in 37 states over its history. There's 13 states they haven't played in. In 45 seconds, name six of those states they have not played in. We're putting 45 seconds on the clock. Go for it. Hawaii. Oh, they have played in Hawaii. Alaska's oh. one. Nevada. Nevada's two. Uh, Arizona. No, they played, no, they played Arizona. Arizona. Got two. Uh, New Mexico. New Mexico is three. <laughs> Idaho. Idaho is four. Two more. Montana. Monta they played in Montana. Yeah, four. <laughs> Uh, Oregon. They played in Oregon. Two more. Two more. Uh, can't think of any. Uh, Nebraska. They played in Nebraska. Montana. Mississippi. They played in Mississippi. Damn it. Montana. No, North Dakota. North Dakota's what? You got one more? South Dakota. South Dakota. He's got it. He's got it. He wins it in the last second. With one second to go, he gets it. Hey, sir, congratulations. You're going to see yeah. SU UConn. He's got it. Back to you, Kev. Well, we ran into Panthers, aliens, and parents all throughout the day. Syracuse and Pittsburgh kicking off in just a few minutes. And, uh, man, this time around, a lot more fun. And, and, hey, we ran into some better sports buffs, I guess you can say. You never know what's going to happen at a Syracuse football game. Great football action, great tailgating fun. And you'll see an alien here and there. I mean, hopefully this Syracuse team can get back on the right track tonight, get a win over Pittsburgh, so that all those fans can enjoy the SU-UConn game in a few weeks. We're just going to have to see what happens. Well, no aliens are allowed in there, the Carrier Dome. Kickoff just a couple minutes away. But hey, good fun again. I'm Kevin Fitzgerald. He's Jeff Cuccinell. The Z89 Tailgate Trivia Challenge we're off for today. We'll see you back in a couple weeks.